Pleased to be joined on another Warriors Wednesday with a future Warrior player and one that's coming in and committed for the 23-24 season. Jackson Kierkostas joins us now. Jackson, first off, thank you for taking the time today. Uh, how has the summer been for you so far in the early parts of the summer here in early June, but getting ready for your first season of uh, junior hockey must be a pretty exciting time for you. Yeah, summer, yeah, you know, it's been a little busy so far, but Obviously, it's been a lot of fun, and I'm super excited for next year. And thank you for having me. And you know, it's been uh, great uh, getting in the weight room and you know getting on the ice so far as summer started. And I'm just looking forward to you know getting in the schedule every day and kind of just looking at getting after it every day, which is a lot of fun. You've played all of your hockey out east, uh, playing for the Islanders Hockey Club for uh, the majority of the last few years at the U18 level of the last couple of seasons, and obviously the U16 level, and also Kimball Union as well. Uh, take me through your experience at Kimball the last two years, a renowned hockey academy, a team that's always very good, but also good on the academic side. So uh, what was your time like at Kimball the last couple of seasons? Yeah, you know, Kimball Union was obviously like, a great hockey school but just other than that it was just like honestly the best two years of my life going there you know meeting so many people and uh just making like long time friendships that I'll obviously have forever but on the hockey standpoint it, it was just amazing like our first year we had a loaded team and you know the coaching staff as well with Tim Whitehead Underhill coach Harris you know they're really just unbelievable coaches like you hear a lot about them but then you get there and it's just they just exceed expectations. You know, they helped me develop so much as a player and as a person, which I'll forever be grateful for. But yeah, our first year, we uh, we had such a great group and, you know, we made it to Elite Eight. We were the first seed, which is like the top tournament. And, you know, fell short to a Salisbury team, which was a great team in the semifinals, which is uh, obviously a little, a little devastating. But, you know, we can't, I came back, uh, finished out my senior year and, was grateful to be a captain of the team and you know we had also a really good group some younger players but got to play with some great guys and uh develop for another year before juniors and uh it was a great year this year you know we I would say went farther than a lot of people expected but we made it to that tournament again and fell short first round but it was it was a great year a great development year and you know got got way better and it was just great working with the coaches and players and just everything at Kimball Union. I was so grateful to go there for two years, and I'm going to miss it a lot. You mentioned going back for your senior year, and I think that's something that is is looked, especially in college hockey right now with a lot of players going back for their fifth years or anything like that. What went into that decision? Because I think there's a lot of guys who would look at that and say, I'm ready to go to junior. I'm ready to have that opportunity. But how big of a developmental year was that for you to just – go back in your senior year and have an opportunity to really hone in on your skills. Yeah, exactly. That was obviously a big decision, you know, whether or not to go to juniors uh, and not go back and finish school. But, you know, talking through it with my parents, I felt like Kimball Union has so much to offer, even other than hockey, like going back and like getting a good education again, like finishing out there. And then also really just like how I felt after the first year, like I was, I wanted to go back. Like I obviously wanted to win. We, I wanted to win, and um, just, just knowing the development and the coaching staff that had behind me and the role that I could play in prep school for the senior year, and uh, that was just the biggest part and made the decision kind of easier. And I mean, I thought it was a great decision. I had a great year this year, which was awesome, a lot of fun, and I felt like I made the right decision. And now I'm ready to take the next step. And taking the next step in West Kelowna, you commit to the Warriors uh, earlier in the season, in the 22-23 season. Uh, take me through that decision-making process. Uh, what made West Kelowna a viable option for yourself to play junior hockey? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, obviously, it was a big decision, but um, having, uh, like, you know, good good guidance through Jaden Moriello, who I played with on a line, who was at West Kelowna this year, kind of having him and also Bobby May to talk to made it a lot easier than just honestly just hearing so much about West Kelowna how not even they have such a good hockey team and coaching and staff and players but the city to like to live to live in the city and the area so beautiful it just made the decision a lot easier than talking to 
coach Simon Ferguson made it a lot easier as well as he's just such a good guy. And I felt like he was the right person to play for. And, you know, it's going to help me move on to the next level and have a great year next year. That's funny because I was going to ask you how much of a factor did Jaden Moriello and Bobby May have in your yeah. decision? Because obviously knowing those two guys played at Kibble Union, two guys that you know very well, I uh, feel like they were a pretty big proponent in this decision-making process. Yeah, they for sure were a big proponent. I, know, I only live like 30 minutes from Jaden. I was with him yesterday and just we keep he keeps filling me in on West Cologne on everything I need to know, which is just makes this like so much easier and makes me feel a lot more comfortable. So having them as like just guidance just just made it a lot more uh, like rewarding and makes it makes it look like it's going to be a great year. 55 points in 33 games last season for you at Kimball Union and for Warrior fans that, you know, might not know your playing style, obviously haven't hit the ice in West Kelowna. How would you describe yourself as, as a player? And is there anybody that you kind of try to model your game after? No, yeah, um, I definitely say, uh, you know, the first year at Kimball Union, I was playing with Jaden. As you guys know, Jaden, he's a big time shooter, goal scorer, and uh, kind of just being like, I'd say I'm a good playmaker all over the ice. Um, I could skate very well, um, good skill set. Uh, like to use my speed, but obviously I think I'm a passer. But this year I kind of showed that, you know, I have the ability to score too, which was a big step in uh, my game. And just working to be a 200-foot player this year and show that I could play on all areas of the ice. But for sure I'd like to say, you know, I am like a playmaker, a pass-first player that can also shoot, shoot the puck when I need to. And, just get up and down the ice really well, use my speed and make plays all over the ice, which is my biggest area of my game. But um, I if I'd say I'd have to model, I mean, like I I used to like try to model. I liked watching Clayton Keller, kind of like him, like Jack Hughes, the players that are like super, super skilled, uh, but like to make plays all over the ice, use their speed and just attack on every shift, like players like that. But, um. You know, I I think they'd probably be like the type of player, one of those guys. So lastly for you now, uh, you know, you're going through the summer training, getting ready to go and come to training camp, which starts on September 1st. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most about coming to West Kelowna and coming to the Warriors organization? No, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, playing in front of all, all the fans and, you know, the city of West Kelowna and just the everyday uh, – process of getting to the rink working out skating being with the t with the team and uh just that every day like you know process which is obviously the best feeling and I feel I think it's going to be a great year and I'm looking forward to it and obviously looking forward to being part of such a great team that we got next year and uh hopefully making a run for it well, we appreciate your time today. Thanks so much for this, Jackson. We look forward to seeing you uh, in a couple of months here in West Kelowna to get started for the start of the season. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.